good, good day, day internet, internet people. people. It's Mr. Jack. Hello. Because he's the only one who's actually doing any content at the moment for us. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and he's got his mega colony deck profile. Yep, profiles. it's time to break out the bug spray and the fly swatters. Yeah. Because the bugs are here. Yeah. So show us what you got. I show will. me what you got. Yes. If you add that in, I'll be very, very pleased. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so um, let me just get everything sorted. Uh, for the starter, we have uh, the only starter in me standard mega colony. That's worker ant. Uh, simple skill, run road apart and draw a card. Every clan has it. Yeah, every clan's exactly the same. Yep. Gonna have to squeeze you yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, next, we run four crits. Pretty simple. And we run another four crits because it's all we have. <laughs> no fuds. Oh, wait, no, it's not that kind of clan. No, we're not that privileged. <laughs> <laughs> and we run our four draw PGs because, you know, standard. Yeah. Draw PGs are good. Standard? Yes. And then we run the four heals because 20k shields are a thing. Yeah, they are. Like, you need that 20k shield. Yeah. Even if the heal wasn't any good, you still got them. You still got the shield, yeah. Onto the grade ones. We are running four. Oh, God. Oh, you okay? Yeah. At least yeah. that one wasn't being used for the filming. Yeah. We are running four Machining Hornet. Uh, this, is, um, this is pretty much a staple of if you're playing Mega Colony. Uh, if you've been around since the era and you've played against Blasters any time, at any point, you know about Wingle Youth. This is essentially that. Except with a 1k power and you search the top 6. And there's not to be a Blaster unit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. When, he's, when he boosts or attack, hits a Vanguard. Bear in mind it's Vanguard or Rearguard he can activate his skill on. Which is good. Uh, you can look at the top 6 cards of your deck. Add a uh, Grade 3 to hand. And if he's on Rearguard, you can send him to the Soul. And as a guy from Team Match Solution once said, consistency is good. Consistency is what? Good. Good? Yeah, especially when you're getting PGs every time. Consistency is rubbish. Who wants consistency? I don't know. Protect clans. <laughs> uh, next we run free Spiteful Hopper. Uh, this guy, um, I was uh, running him at 2 originally, but um, uh, the guy I sort of replaced him for wasn't really working out. And... Uh, um, so far he's been working out for me because um, his skill is when he's placed uh, you saw bus one and one of your other units gains 6k and uh, if I have no face up damage I can counter charge nice little main phase counter charger there and next we run small captain butterfly officer this is a, another counter charging unit and uh, gotta say one of the uh, best cards in the deck I'd say because it combos well with one of our grade threes which we will get to eventually and this one is uh, when she's placed, uh, you can rest her, uh, choose one of your units, give it plus 10k, and then at the end of the turn, if you chose a unit, you pop that unit into your soul and you counter charge one. It's a guaranteed counter charge because you have because you said if as long as you've chosen, you still get the counter charge. The counter charge is always useful in the format. Yes, yes it is. And like say like uh, you give it to a machining hornet and you, that skill activates, you get the grade three, you pop it into soul, you still can counter charge. That has been confirmed by a lot of people. Yes. Uh, the 6k hurts, but yeah, still, still a pretty good card. And then we run one Phantom Black. This guy I was originally running at two, but then I took it with one of them out for a spiteful hopper. Because uh, I know he's only useful in a couple of times, and I again I use you, I only use him in with one other card, and we'll get to that eventually. But his skill is um, when he boosts, uh, you discard a card from your hand, and until the end of battle you can't. Your opponent can't go with normal units and the booster unit gains plus 6k. Uh, a silent time effect. Yeah, it, it, it's nice, it's nice, but definitely definitely only running it at a 1. Mm. On to degree 2s. Here we have our second staple card of the deck, Machining Mantis. This one is uh, essentially Machining Horn on it, except uh, when he's his is when placed, you count plus 1, look at the top 6. Add a grade 3 to hand and he gains 6k power. He's mainly your main ride target because if you've got a free counter blast on, he's hitting force numbers. Just an all around good card. And he does get the 6k regardless if you get the grade 3 or not. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, next up, we run four Bloody Hercules. This is um, your primary counter charger in the deck. Uh, yeah. Um, 
I feel like a um, butterfly officer is more consistent with the counter charging, but this one it's not once per turn or anything like that. And uh, this guy, um, oh no, once like you use it, you can't use it again because you can call stuff out the soul with a, a card from with one of the grade threes, but it's already at rest, so you can't activate her skill, which is disappointing. But oh well. Uh, but this one, uh, when he's placed on rear guard, you soul blast one and give him plus six. Seems to be a uh, trend going on in Mega Colony. The sixes are quite common anyway, aren't they now? Yeah. Force is a thing though, so... Wow. Yeah, and then uh, his second skill is uh, Vanguard or Rearguard. When his attack hits, that doesn't have to be hitting a Vanguard either, so you can like, snipe off a Rearguard if you want. You can counter charge one and choose one of your units, give it plus six. Nice. So, definitely a four of, in my opinion. Uh, next, we're running two Nasty Smog. Uh, I just find this card funny because um, it combos well with uh, the main grade 3 of the deck and uh, just being able to um, lock down your opponent even more than you do with this deck is just funny because uh, when he's pl when he's on the field, uh, in the same your opponent's units in the same column in the back row can't stand and the same unit in the front row can't intercept. Like, literally, the amount of times I've just denied someone a 5k shield and won a game because of it, because of this card, it's, it's funny. Worth running. Yeah, definitely worth running. Uh, I'd say only a 2 of, but it's definitely worth it, because you pop this in your back row. The only ones that can actually target it are card your own shadows when they come out. So it just, it just makes a lot of people hate you, which mm -hmm. is funny. And then for the last of grade 2s, we're running one Water Gang. I was originally running this at 3, but then I realised... You need to save your counter blast for your main grade three, so I bumped it down to two. But then I realised I'm never going to use it at two, so I bumped it down to one <laughs> because I wanted to run more nasty smogs. Uh, but he's he's still quite good because uh, when he stands, his ability rear guard. When he stands, you counter blast one, put two units to your soul, and draw two cards. And this does activate during the uh, stand phase as well. So say like you've got a unit, you stand all your units during the main phase, stand phase, whatever. You counter blast one. You pop him into the soul, draw two cards, and then you can ride your Vanguard. So you basically stand draw, and then activate your skill, draw two cards, you just got three cards into your hand for a counter blast. That's uh, pretty powerful. It is, but definitely only running it at one, because uh, you're probably only going to use it like once or twice a game. Yeah, but worth it anyway. Yeah. And uh, next, for the Grade threes, we're running two... Uh, Death Warden and Lion. This is your um, finisher of the deck, equivalent to um, Victorious Deer with Oracle Think Tank, except. Uh, he's a bit more like Waterfall, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's a bit. Yeah, he's more. He's definitely. He's a mini Waterfall, uh, but since I, it's following a trend that all Protect clans are getting like a double rare finisher or some, mm -hmm. of some sort. Yeah. Except for Grambler, I think. I don't think they're getting, the, they're getting one. Get but, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, this guy's funny. This is the guy I um, combo with um, uh, Phantom Black. Because his skill, obviously, you know what Waterfall does. You, 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 you can activate his skill, Soul Blast 1. What Soul Blast 1? Yeah, pardon me. Soul Blast 1, Grave 3, and discard, discard two cards from your hand. He gains 10k and a crit. And then if you combo that with Phantom Black, your opponent's only allowed to guard with triggers. Yeah. Fun times. And then this guy, he can, if you get it all right, you can hit about 82k with him, which is just funny. Listen, the highest I've hit is about 72 or 76. And uh, my opponent had nearly had to ditch his whole hand, and he still couldn't guard it. He was like five k off. Yeah. And guess what? Denied him the five k. Your face. Nasty smog. <laughs> 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 Literally, it, it's funny. It's definitely um, worth running it too because you don't want to ride into it, but you definitely need to run more than one of it. Hmm. And then we're running four stag beetle. This is your main backup grade three. Uh, if you've been around since the old days of Vanguard, like uh, me and Jess have, well, mm. her more than me, but um, uh, you know what Stag Beetle does, except this one can activate on Vanguard. That's what makes it good. Uh, it's not activate on Vanguard. That's what makes it good, sorry. Uh, basically, if, when he's placed, uh, you took call two units from your soul. They don't have to be machining units, which is, makes it that much better. And uh, if he's on Vanguard, and you call them to him at rest, and if he's on Vanguard, uh, he gains their combined power. So you call out two grade twos? That's 18k power, which is funny. <laughs> and uh, 
obviously you get a protect gift. Uh, same event line, you get the protect gift there. And uh, he's 12k base. So if you're using that in premium, then, you know, run this one. Because why would you run the old one when you've got a much better one? Plus the artwork's nicer, I think. And then for the big bad boss, rerun, not one, not two, not three, but four machining Spark Hercules. Only four? Only four. I would run more, but you know, Bushy Road says we have to run four, you know. Rules. Yeah. And obviously, as you can see, I've got a nice shiny SVR here. Very, very lovely. Cost me an arm and a leg, but you know, thank God does. Mm -hmm. And basically, machining Spark Hercules' effect is you can't blast two at the start uh, during your main phase. You stand all of your rested units, and they gain 5k, and you rest all of your opponent's standing units, and they lose 5k. That includes the Vanguard. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, but it does. It does. And the best thing about that, the, the minus 5k lasts until the end of your opponent's turn. Which is funny. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, Nova Grapplers, you know how their thing is, uh, you know, multiple attacks? Yeah, try and hit a Vanguard with a 6k column. <laughs> yep, it's funny because when you tested it against me that time and I had Luckbird down, it was basically yeah. a 0k unit. It was a 0k unit, unit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the amount of times like you can just, like, just waste your opponent's time, just, you know, they're wasting their hand to call down new units or, you know, just guard your obsessively high numbers for a protect yeah. deck because they're on like 8k vanguards is it's funny it's funny yeah and plus what makes him even better you can send one of your units into the soul uh greater or less and uh he gains 5k power for each of your rested opponent's rested units so uh if you're Seems against legit. yeah if you've got a full if you're playing against an excel deck and they've got like a full board <laughs> that's about 35k <laughs> which is funny Awesome. Yep. Uh, so, so that's the protect. That's the mega colony deck. Yep. So you saw it in its proxy form in previous battles. Yes. Now get ready because we're going to have some battles for you with it in its completed form. I think what we want to do is have another protect face off because we didn't. Up did we upload the protect face? No, it was a uh, royals versus oracles that that's we did. Right. Yeah. So I think we need to do a protect match. Protect off. Yeah. So look out for that coming up soon. Yes. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Chuck, <laughs>